What is up? What is up? What is up? It's your boy PA. You now back into the shop. How y'all been doing? Ah. So today we kind of got a little bit of a different video. Not working on the XJ. That thing is sitting over there. And if you notice, the Yamaha Cafe is over here as well. And uh, I mean, this is a video working on a bike. So what bike are we working on? Ah. We are working on the newly acquired bike. We are working on the Honda CB900 Custom. Um, like I said before, we've got parts galore for this thing. Um, nothing crazy, but you know, some good parts. Sorry for the rain, It's or sorry for the thunder in the background. Like I said before, Florida, uh, where there's a storm like every day of the week, and then it's sunny for the rest of the days. But yeah, so working on the Honda, one of the biggest things that I wanted to get rid of was the exhaust. This thing is essentially straight pipe and it is straight annoying. Um, so got a new exhaust. I said Delcovic before, but it actually is a Mac 4 in one The company Mac went out of business, I believe, or sold their business. So yeah that exhaust is no longer available you can't find it i did however get it from niche so that part was correct but the brand wasn't correct so but yeah so i've got an exhaust for that um i'm gonna do fluids going to do oil going to do uh the rear drive and uh exhaust i already said that spark plugs gonna do filters as well um oil filter and new air filter because that shouldn't be that easy. Like, that's ridiculous. Um, and there's no telling. Um, I got the bike without the side covers, and I have already put that on. I've got a new seat coming that will actually resemble a cafe look. I'll try to get a picture from the website and, and post it here now. But... There'll be a new, there's a new seat coming for that as well. Um, I think for the most part, that's all we got. Oh, and we've got shocks as well. So, ditching the air suspension, going with shocks, this should be fine. The brake master cylinder has been a bane and a huge pain for me. That was part of the reason why I got the bike so cheap because it needed a rear master cylinder. And I figured, oh, I can just rebuild it. This one, this one ain't easy, man. Let me show you. Let me turn this light on. So here we've got the brake master cylinder. Uh, I've cleaned up a lot of it. Uh, you can actually see through there. I didn't even know there was holes in there before. That's how bad it was. Uh, down in here, which I don't know if I can get to, but that flat piece that's in there is actually, um, there's a spring that's behind it. I cannot get this out to save my life. And I mean, it's not like I've been ginger with it. I've been using that and the punch. I cannot get it out for anything. So. So this is the part that I am beating up against. But I mean, that part doesn't have a spring. Uh, I believe there, the spring goes behind it like that. And uh, yeah, there's no spring at all. <laughs> it's just stuck. It's seized. It's the rear master itself 100% is bad. I tried to get a universal master cylinder, couldn't do that because it didn't really work. So now I got the brake rebuild kit and as we can see, it's not rebuilding much. So I got to figure something out. I'll have to try and find a used one online somewhere and rebuild that one. <laughs> but either way it goes, definitely going to get this bike running, uh, which it already runs and drives, but you know, not really safe to drive without brakes. Um, I'm not going to keep talking though. Gonna set you guys up on the time lapse because it is 
pretty simple stuff. Like I said, going to start draining oil and um, filters and everything. And then after that, I'll go ahead and do the uh, exhaust. So uh, cue the music. like the uh, camera died and I just kept working uh, luckily like I said it's just changing oil uh, changing exhaust stuff like that so nothing too crazy happened um, but the old exhaust is off new exhaust is on old filters are off I mean looking pretty bad um, new oil in and I went with the Delray EXL mineral 1040 pretty good oil this one drops uh, here's the new exhaust oh there's the front Looks pretty good. Pain in the ass though. Um, I don't know who did like potty control for Mac uh, exhaust, but terrible. Like had to like pull and pry and uh, it's bad. Maybe it's because it's, you know, not in like single sections and it's just like kind of all welded up into one. Uh, Sorry about that. Into one like collector, but then of course it comes down into one. But yeah, even here, like the fit up, it's like butted up against it. So I got to figure something out. Hopefully it doesn't rattle through the whole chassis. Um, but yeah, I even had to take the center stand off because it was it was rubbing up right here so I had to take that off as well um, and not too happy that I had to do all that stuff but I am happy that I actually have an exhaust you know unlike the Maxim or the XJ I'm still trying to figure that exhaust situation out but anyway Everything's done except for suspension and spark plugs. Spark plugs I might wait on uh, just because I got to lift the tank and I don't want to deal with that. But I will knock out the suspension tomorrow. So like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know how you guys feel about the bike, how it looks, whatever any advice you may have and anything you anything you guys want to see definitely let me know uh, 
It's your boy PA. You now leaving the shop.